Hello, it's Geeks of Shack and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to hide and show content on different devices. In our previous tutorial, we went through the grid layout, how to make a responsive grid, which in this case we use panels. And then the second tutorial, we was focusing on our navigation bar, how to create a navigation bar. We created the drop down, and also when it comes to a, a mobile device, foundation makes things a lot cooler for us. Right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the command line and we're gonna type in ls hyphen al, which is list all. Right. So I can see I haven't got an, in, uh, an image folder, so I'm gonna make one now. So make directory image cd so that's created the image folder go to google images and just get a background image of a blue sky yeah blue sky Nah, do you know what I think? Yeah, blue sky. Yeah, go for it. Alright, we're going to save the image. I'm just going to call this sky. Save that. Excellent. So now we've saved the sky, let's go back into the code. And what we're going to do right here above the row is we're going to make a div ID background main. Just camel case. Div class row. And a div class large 12 columns. Now, this ID I've made called background main is where we're going to put our background image. And we're going to style it because we want it to show a certain height. We only want it to be within these divs. Okay, so now we've done that, what we can do is we can save that. And let me just make sure I have a file. Okay, I've got a file called my CSS, which is my personal style sheet. And let's make a hashtag background camel case and name, because that's what I called it. Curly braces. And we're going to give a background image URL. And it's put brackets there. Put two single quotes and did we have the CD out of this? I think we do. Yep. So we're going to put change directories. So we're going to use two dots image and it's called sky.jpg. Give it a background size cover and let's give it a height of 300 pixels. And we save that, go back to the browser. Oh, seems to have a problem. Why is it not? Let me just make sure we save that. Hmm. If this does happen, 
What I suggest you do is clear your browser data. If we go back and refresh our page, we should see our background image. Excellent. Right, so now we've got our background image of a blue sky. It doesn't really look too friendly, but you know, hey, hey. But it's showing on every device. Now, I quite like it on a small device, actually. But I don't really like it on a medium device. Laptop, I can bear with it. So what we, we can do in this case, back to the code. And just off that idea, we're going to add a class. Now, we're going to use a foundation class. And this foundation class is called show hyphen for large. Save that. Now, if we go back to the browser and we refresh, on a medium device, it's disappeared. On a small device, it's disappeared. But on a large device, it still remains. So what about if we wanted to show the same image on a small device, but not on a medium device? What we could do is, let's go to the small device. We could copy this line here, copy this code, paste, change large for small. But if we go to a medium device, it doesn't exist. Go to a laptop, it exists. Go to a mobile, it exists. Fascinating, isn't it? Now, this is really useful because you might deal with certain content that might not look great on a mobile device, or you feel like you can style that same content a different way. With this show for small, or show for large, or show for medium, because we could do this show for medium up and let's just delete this so it's disappeared on a mobile device it's appeared on a, on a medium device a tablet and a laptop and a large screen so this is really fascinating when you think about it, because foundation allows us to write a single class and it hides and shows content. Damn, I love foundation. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is convert everything back. Okay, excellent. I want to show a different image for a medium device and have the same image on a large device and a small device. So what I'm going to do is copy this, paste that there, show for medium, and I'm just going to write to copy that. Hashtag, copy this. Okay, let's look for a new image. Let's look for some cows. Bloody cows. Bloody milkman. Right. Good, good few of cows. I love milk, I do. <laughs> uh, right. You know, it's, it's okay to have a bit of crazy once a day, you know. I think we could do a bit of crazy, like, 
every one video a month. Mm. Sounds a bit fair, don't you think? Alright. Okay. Cows.jpg. And save that. Let's go back into the code. Cows. Save it. Sorry, Sublime, not today. <laughs> I like the free version a lot. Alright, let's refresh that baby. Excellent, so now we've got a bunch of cows. Okay, so on a medium device, it will show cows. Small device, it will show the sky. Just like the laptop. But you know what the problem with this image is? You know, it's a bit like, I just can't see this cow. I'm, I love this cow, it's like he's hiding away from me, I just want to show him. So let's show him. <laughs> let's go here. It's just to be neat about things. Background hyphen position. Let's just give it a 30% and let's just see what happens. Excellent! Nah. You've done it to me this time, Johnny. 320, go on. Give you a bit of space, cows. Count yourself lucky. Cow yourself lucky, you get that. Yeah, wicked. Oh, that's wicked, Danny boy. Bloody cows. Excellent. Love it. It's marvelous. Mm. It's great. So I hope you understand how you can use the class show for large up or show for medium down. Have fun. Practice with it. I'm going to attach an article to this, like every single video I do, and there'll be more information what you can do exactly with these classes. In our next tutorial, we're gonna focus more on the design. So have fun with the grid layout, understand how you can hide and show them, and then we're gonna work on how we can present our content, make it look fascinating, uh, style the navigation bar, um, yeah, do you know what? Let me just give you a quick advice. Now we're in Google Tools. I want you guys to use Google Tools because it's your best friend. It loves you more than ever because once you're in inspect element, hmm, this inspect the top bar. Top bar, let's make it green. Okay, but why is it that the whole top bar hasn't turned green. Well, what we could do is just right click on here, inspect. Let's make that green as well. Excellent. I want that to be green as well. So look, this is the beauty of foundation. Uh, no, the beauty of Google Tools, because as you can see, what we have done is simply, simply, the code is here. I could just copy that and paste this into my CSS. Use inspect element to your advantage. It will help you understand. And then at the end of the day, Google's your best friend. Google searched the problem. This is what majority of developers, the first place you should look for is Google. The first place, not Stack Overflow, Google. See what Google brings a result. Then go to Stack Overflow if that's not good enough. Digital Ocean, or even my guides, Geeks to Shack. So thank you very much for watching my tutorial. 
Next tutorial, like I said, we'll be focusing on the design, showing you how to make some cool animations. Or just leave some comments in here because I'm going to post a video every day at midnight. So you have enough time to contact me with, you know, leave a message. And, you know, I could, you know, add things to the new tutorial that we're going to do. Thank you very much. Subscribe now and like the videos and share them. Geekstified with webgeekshirt.co.uk. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. <laughs>